here on the show. I'm Alex Pearson. Wednesday, February 22nd. I'm Pat Ball. Ash Wednesday to the Christians in the world out there. We're following those stories very closely. Other yeah. stories coming up in this hour, actually. Yes, uh, the Pitbull ban. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a controversial ban that took place in Ontario. I did a big series on this when it first uh, was launched. It didn't make much sense to me because you can't go after one dog for biting. So. The pit bull owners in this province have really rallied and they're coming forth. They're trying to have this bill overturned uh, and the bill will go before um, the legislature this afternoon. So we're going to be chatting with someone about why breed-specific legislation doesn't work. Hmm. In fact, there's an interesting relationship between Ontario and Alberta because a lot of pit bull owners here in the province of Ontario are shipping their pit bulls out to Alberta, which is gladly taking them in and helping out so these animals don't get killed. That's been in place for seven years. It's been in years. place for four years, but you'll see by stats that the dog attacks have not gone down. The legislation itself is not uh, protecting anybody. It just makes for a really good soundbite, really good headline. But does it actually work? We'll talk to uh, one person who's involved with the movement. The Legislation that. Council of Canada, the organization pushing for the retraction of the Pitbull ban is Kathy Prothrow. Good to have you here with us. You know, when this bill came into effect in 2005, it was nothing more than a great soundbite because at the time, pit bulls were all the rage. It was the story to tell. Even if it wasn't a pit bull involved in an attack, it seemed that the pit bull got the blame. So here we are, five, six years later, pit bulls are banned or they have to be muzzled in the province of Ontario. You're trying to get this thrown out. We're at a second reading of a bill. That happens tomorrow. Correct. So tell us what this legislation is about. How will it change this breed specific legislation? Well, what. Uh, bill 16, or, or Hershey's bill, is about is removing the breed-specific language out of the Dog Owners Liability Act. And that was brought in in 2005. And uh, basically, it, over the last six years, there's been no uh, change in dog bite stats. It's pretty well remained the same. And the the legislation is, is proven ineffective for basically what they claimed it was going to do. Right. And so the numbers, I mean, when I, I did a long investigative piece on this specific piece of legislation, because as a dog owner, it didn't make much sense to me that you could, you know, alienate one breed of dog when there were so many other dogs that had also been involved in biting or maiming people. Correct. And I mean, what, what, what the original uh, bill did was uh, target a, a type or a look. Yeah. Uh, for basically from, from the way they look rather than what a dog has done. So, you know, they, they've discriminated against a look of dog and have, has, haven't gone and targeted the real problem, which would be irresponsible dog owners. Yes, and not to mention this bill gives a sweeping and troubling amount of power to law enforcement to walk into your house even on the basic suspicion that you may have a pit bull type dog and for any dog owner that's concerning because even if you have a labrador or a retriever if your neighbor says that girl's got a pit bull they can walk in take your dog and you're out of luck it, absolutely it's a grudge law yeah it, it, all they have to do is think you have and they can come in without warrant into your home mm -hmm. and while they're looking for your dog paraphernalia like leashes dishes yes. and happen to find contraband or something illegal um that's it you know, they, they don't need a warrant to go into your home. So let's talk about this, which is, in a sense, a private member's bill. But what's unique about this is that not only does it have endorsement of the PC and the NDP, but there are liberal members also pushing for reform on this law. Absolutely. Uh, the, the bill has been uh, co-sponsored by all three parties. It's a tri-party bill going forward. And basically, um, over the last six years, uh, Breed specific legislation has been repealed yes. almost everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's become passe. Everybody knows it doesn't work. They're looking to be proactive and to put in dangerous dog laws that would target irresponsible owners and yes. not not a look or a type of dog. That's so subjective. I mean, what what is a pit bull? We're not canine psychics. So yeah. You know, it, it's it, you know, it could be just about anything. And now with DNA. Uh, Testing, you know, a lot of these dogs that they call pit bull mm -hmm. are are mixed breeds, of course, of Labradors, Boxers, you name it. You know, it's, so it's you know it it behooves me to that a government can say this look is banned, right? 
And so you know, we should mention, though, that there's an interesting relationship between Alberta and Ontario because they've so openly been gracious in taking these animals that uh, would be exterminated if, if absolutely. the law existed. And they have very good legislation when it comes to dog ownership. They really put the onus on the dog owner. Absolutely. I mean, I mean Calgary, uh, the city of Calgary, the, the, the dog bylaw there, and, and they call it the Responsible Dog yeah. Ownership Program, um, has been... Uh, monumental in, in changing and affecting change in dog bylaws throughout North America. Right. Ontario didn't, didn't listen. They didn't want to know. They, I, it, we had an attorney general, Kathy, that wanted to make a very good sound bite. I think that's why we know that this law came into effect. Yes, yes. It, it, was, it was good politics at the time. Um, people understand now yeah. that it doesn't do anything to right. keep people safe. It lulls you into, into thinking that you're getting something you're not. So quickly before we let you go, uh, how confident are you that this bill will pass? And you have a rally planned for tomorrow right before the bill reading, the second reading. The, there's been a shift in thought mm -hmm. and we're, we're very confident that it's, it will pass. It will, at least it will pass second reading. It'll be debated in the House tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we're hopeful that, um, that it will go through and pass second, uh, third reading. Okay, the rally is planned for what time? 11.30. 11.30 to 12.30. Bring your dogs? Absolutely. See you there. <laughs> Good luck. I never liked this piece of legislation, not because I, do, I have a love affair with the pit bull. I own a dog. I just think that all owners in, in this country, if you own a dog, should be responsible. You should be responsible. Ownership. I mean, it's simple. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. It's, it's very simple. If you own it, take charge of it. Be yeah. responsible. Interesting. All right, we'll keep an eye on this one, Kathy. Thank you. And I want to thank that's Kathy Prothrow of the Dog Legislation Council of Canada. We will, of course, bring you uh, up to speed with what happens with the second reading.